Welcome back students. In the last module we learned about scalar multiplication of vector. In this module we will be learning about properties of scalar multiplication of vector and a new concept unit vector along the coordinate axis. Let us discuss properties of scalar multiplication. The first property says that if you multiply any scalar to the null vector or null vector multiplied by any scalar your resultant is null vector. The second property says you multiply a number 0 to any vector a bar or a bar multiplied to 0 your resultant is a null vector. The third property states that m into na bar is equal to n into ma bar is equal to mn into a bar. For example, 2 into 3a bar or 3 into 2a bar or 6a bar, it's all one and the same. The next property says m plus n into a bar or m minus n into a bar is equal to m a bar plus n a bar or m a bar minus n a bar. For example, 2 plus 3 a bar is equal to 2 a bar plus 3 a bar or 3 minus 2 a bar is equal to 3 a bar minus 2 a bar. The next property states that k into a bar plus b bar is equal to k a bar plus k b bar or k into a bar minus b bar is k a bar minus b bar. So now come to the very important property of scalar multiplication, a very important property. Students, please keep this property in your mind. a bar and k bar are always a collinear vector. Yes, vector and its scalar multiple is always a collinear vector. Collinear vector? parallel vector both the vectors parallel so when i say a vector a bar is a scalar multiple of b bar then we can easily say that a bar is parallel to b bar and a bar and b bar are collinear vectors parallel vectors one vector scalar multiple of another vector both the vectors parallel vectors both the vectors collinear vector a very important property property number seven unit vector along a cap now see the vector a bar is denoted as magnitude of a bar into a cap the magnitude is multiplied to the direction of a cap and we will obtain a bar yes magnitude of a bar is a scalar so from here what do you get a cap as you get a cap as a bar upon mod of a bar a bar upon magnitude of a bar so there is a formula coming for a unit vector unit vector is equal to vector upon its magnitude now we come to a very new concept called as unit vector along the coordinate axis consider a space with three mutually perpendicular axes x axis y axis z axis now unit vector along x axis is denoted by i cap it's been shown in your diagram yes i cap unit vector along x axis its length is one unit vector along the y axis is denoted by j cap and it's again shown in the diagram and unit vector along z axis is k cap it's been shown in the diagram now let us consider a point a x 0 0 on the x axis yes on the x axis we are considering one point coordinate x 0 0 then vector o a bar is x i cap from what this you understood is that any vector along the x axis is a scalar multiple of i cap let us consider the second point b 0 y 0 on the y axis OB bar, the vector OB bar is YJ cap. What do we understand from here? Yes, any vector along Y axis is a scalar multiple of J cap. Now, let us consider the third point C00Z. Zero, zero, it is on the Z axis and we'll find OC bar. What we get OC bar as? ZK cap. So, what we understand from here? Yes, any vector along the Z axis is a scalar multiple of K cap. I give you some example, you will say me which vector is along which axis and what are their magnitude. Let us take some example. The first example I am taking is 3i cap. 
Yes, it's a scalar multiple of y cap. So it is along positive x axis, along o x axis. You can see in the diagram along o x axis. And the magnitude here is 3. Let us take a second example. Minus 5 j cap. It's a scalar multiple of j cap. So it is along o y dash axis because there is a minus sign so it will be on the direction opposite to y axis and direction opposite to y axis is y dash axis that is o y dash and here the magnitude will be 5 the third example and the last example 9 k cap it's a scalar multiple of k cap so along z axis positive along o z with the magnitude 9 thank you